The FBI are after some location data. Apparently there's a serial killer driving a Payne Magellan. Great. Serial killer? What kind of serial killer? What kinds are there? Well, there's four main types. There's thrill seekers, mission oriented, visionary, and power and control. You're weird. That's weird that you know that. How would we have his location data? Do we bug our cars? No. Kinda. Any car with a nav system has to connect to a satellite, so we can technically find any car bought after 2002. It's called telematics. I can walk you through how it works if you want. Oh, no, I definitely don't want that. Okay, great. We will use that, though. You want to publicize that there is a serial killer who's driving one of our cars? No, I want to announce that we are going to help the FBI track down a menace to society. Boom. Well, is it possible that your experience in pharma just doesn't translate to cars? Well, you know, it's a learning curve. For example, in my last job, the FBI never asked me to help them catch a serial killer. A serial killer? Yeah, apparently this guy has murdered at least 12 people. He drives a Magellan, so the FBI asked for our help in tracking him down. And you're just giving of... up that information? I mean, it seems like there might be a privacy concern with that. Uh, uh, yeah, well... Seems like there might be. But, well, this guy, you know, killed 12 people, so... So if he killed 11 people, you wouldn't be cooperating? Yeah, at what point do you violate the privacy of your customers? It's a slippery slope. Uh, uh, well, uh, no. Um, I, I said that the FBI had requested this information i didn't i didn't say that we were just handing it over so you're fighting the subpoena mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are fighting it we are we are fighting it for the people wow <laughs> that's news yeah yeah you heard it here first pain motors standing up to the united states government in order to protect serial murderer johnny turner well i'm sorry next up we'll delve into the life and crimes of johnny turner aka the michigan monster oh my god who will be his next victim? Stay tuned. We're clear. Could I? I need to talk to a producer about uh, just so we could make some cuts. Well, the good news is no one's talking about the Ponderosa anymore. Yeah, before some niche trade journal said I had a bad car, and now CNN is accusing me of protecting a mass murderer. It's not even accurate. He's a serial killer, not a mass murderer. What's the difference? Mass murderers kill a bunch of people at the same time. Serial killers need a cooling off period. Okay, yes, it was a bad interview, which I advised you not to do, but let's not overreact. It's not like anyone's saying she's pro-murderer. Actually, I've been getting a few calls asking your position on murder. Well, I hope you said that I was against it. I said, I don't know, but I'll check. I mean, look, from a legal perspective, Okay, it's uh, not like this guy's been convicted of anything yet. I mean, what are we supposed to do, hand out every alleged murderer's info? That's true. There's no proof he even did anything. They found a bunch of skins in his shed. He was skinning people? Before or after he killed them. What's the difference? Well, before is worse. Even if he did do it, maybe he only kills evil people who deserve to die, like maybe he's a Dexter or something. Ooh. You want me to check if he's a Dexter? Yeah, would you? Well, I'd just be concerned that claiming the people he killed deserve to die might come off as victim blaming. Well, what would you suggest? We just wait for it to pass because waiting is not going to bring those 12 people back from the dead. I didn't realize that was the goal here. Yeah, I hate to bring this up, but are we complying with the subpoena? Yes! No! I just announced that we were fighting it. Backing down makes me look indecisive. Would you rather look indecisive or be an accessory to murder after the fact? I don't know. It's hard. Is it?